Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome in Ivan here. Hope you are doing well. Welcome into the video of the week for the topic of the week. Lockdown 2.0. The big question is the beauty and barber industry in the United States of America going to see another lockdown. It, it has happened in some places. Uh, there are a few places I've heard from some people about the fact that they have already been locked down. There are some stay at order stay-at-home orders in place that do not include lockdowns. And there are some other places that, that may not uh, be looking at or talking about lockdowns. But we're going to cover the subject. We're going to talk about lockdown 2.0. What do we do? What's our plan? What is our strategy? Thank you so much for joining. Thank you for being here this morning. Happy to have you. Let's get started. Of course, we get started, as always, with $100,000 hair cutter. And today is 11-16, November 16, the year flying by. It may not feel that way based on how your year's been going. It's been a wild one. November 16, day 320 with 45 days remaining in the year. A little over a month, month and a half to go. Bundle services and products. Bundling builds sales. Bundling is the combining of related products and or services. You can bundle take-home products to a service. You can bundle products together that make sense to create a pair or a trio. The purpose of bundling is to increase sales. The purpose can be to create trial and exposure to other services and products. Bundling does not need to be done with a discount. Probably the most important aspect of an effective bundling program is this is not about discounting or cutting the price. It's about packaging things together. You can add value to the bundle, yet keep the price the same as the combined value of the items if sold separately. Do not position it as a deal. Position it as convenience, complementary experiences, or supporting the results of one product or service with another product or service. You want help building a bundle? Reach out. Talk to me. I can give you some great ideas and suggestions for some effective bundles to help you build and grow your business. $100,000 hair cutter, paper, digital, audio, ivanzoot.com, or by subscribing to the Patreon page, patreon.com slash ivanzoot. The link is in the description with the video. You can have your $100,000 hair cutter tip of the day digitally. You get it digitally online, so you don't have to have the book to do that. Um, you can also have the weekly big and bigger tips because those are included on the Patreon site in the online program. So if you're interested in that, hit the link, check it out. We'll talk about it. All right, Lockdown 2.0. Let's talk about what we're talking about. I want to preface the comments by saying I do not believe we need a lockdown of the beauty industry again. I don't believe we need a nationwide shutdown or lockdown of some kind. I still believe individual <clears throat> states, cities, counties, towns um, need to have the autonomy to assess the situation where they're at, boots on the ground, and make uh, proper decisions for their individual circumstances. Because what's happening in New York may not be happening in... Texas or, or uh, Florida or, you know, we've seen this across the board and across the map. So I got down, I got my pen, I got my paper, I got ready to put down some ideas about what should you be doing right now ahead of lockdown 2.0 if it's coming or in preparation for whatever circumstances or situations arise. Again, I don't think you need to lock the beauty industry down. I think we've demonstrated an ability to manage sanitation and infection control extremely well. I think we do it better than any and many other businesses and industries. And I don't think it is proven across the board and around the country, even around the world, I don't think it's been proven that barbershops and hair salons are the risks that maybe some other businesses are. While we cannot maintain social distance and uh, we have direct contact, it's one at a time. We've been really good about regulating flow. We've been really good about modifying our spaces. We've been really good about responding to the needs of the coronavirus circumstance and situation. So again, I want to make the point that I'm not sharing this lockdown information from a perspective that I believe it's necessary, but it's not my choice. I'm not the one that chooses. It's not about my opinion. 
It's about the opinions of your governors, your lawmakers, and the individuals that make the decisions for your particular area. But I built my list. My job is to put together the list of things that can be valuable to you. And as I put my list together, it occurred to me that this is really great advice for our situation of an impending lockdown, but it's also really great advice any day and every day, lockdown or not. No coronavirus, no fear of lockdown, no concern of lockdown. Every single thing on my list is a great idea. But in the face of a potential lockdown, I guess that exponentially increases the importance of the items that are here on my list. So I wanna run you through this list. Straightforward, number one, make hay. Make hay while the sun shines. While we can do business, do business. Rock and roll. I saw a comment online by a guy who does some salon coaching and things and he said, if you're not locked down, if you're open for business, do business. You know, open early, stay late. Uh, open up the shop on the weekends when you might otherwise have been closed. You don't need to bring everybody in. You don't need all the crew, a skeleton crew to run the business. Think about it. And this was the thing that caught my attention. It doesn't cost you any more to be open than it does to be closed. And I think that's an interesting way of looking at things. You own a shop, you're closed on Sunday. You're still paying the rent. Your basic fixed costs are all still there. Sure, if you open on Sunday, you're gonna use a little more electric, you might turn the heat on, but those are minor costs relative to the entire cost of doing business. You're still paying for insurance, you've got all these other expenses. Make hay while the sun shines, make as much, mo as much money as you possibly can within the opportunity that you have. Treat every day as though it is your last day before lockdown. If I told you you were locking down on Thursday, what would you do on Wednesday? How would you run your business Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of that week, heading into a Thursday morning or, th or Wednesday night lockdown? What would you do differently? Think about it, I've always been amazed when people talk about how effective people can be the day before vacation. How efficient are we? How much do we get done? How much do we clear off our desk or our to-do list the day before a vacation? Treat every day as though it is the last day before a lockdown. Again, think about that for a minute. That's great advice, lockdown or not. Cut costs. You should have already been doing this. You know, if we learned anything from lockdown the last time as it relates to money, we learned these next two things. Number one, cut your costs, slash your costs. Go through your credit card statements and look for everything you're doing on a monthly basis, any money you're spending on a monthly basis that for the time being, temporarily, uh, short term, could we eliminate that? Could we not spend that? Can we skip that for now to be as efficient as we possibly can? Once again, you should be doing this all the time. Number two is save. The big lesson out of coronavirus lockdown last time was how very, very poorly the beauty and barber industry saves. How little backup resources we have. Hopefully, since the last lockdown, you have instituted or put in place some strong savings initiatives. And it can start with pennies. It doesn't have to be big dollars because little dollars have little baby dollars and turn into bigger dollars. If you need a savings plan, you can go on my website and download my uh, multi-millionaire turning small money into big money barber and cosmetology hair industry savings plan. That plan gives you six, seven, I think eight very simple saving tips that can be started immediately to build a stockpile of money. So much of our industry, so much of our world got blindsided, got caught with no backup plan, no money to fall back on. Tough times and challenging situations as a direct result of not planning for it. So cutting costs and saving money, huge, every day. Next up, communication. Keep the lines of communication open and flowing. You've got to be connecting with your team members, your customers, and the community in a very, very active way. Social media, 
newsletters, texting, control the flow of information as opposed to being a victim of the flow of information. Get out in front of the news. Get out in front of the timings. Get out in front of what we can and can't do in conversations. Communicating with people, making sure the inflow of information to you is good and strong, and making sure the information you're putting out is accurate and timely to the people that are relying on you, customers, team members, and your local community. Here's a favorite one of mine, again, every day, but especially now, take clients short. If we knew we're getting locked down, let's get a little mileage out of that haircut. Number one, cut them short so that they look good longer. Number two, cut them short so they can stay away longer. If lockdown's gonna be for a little while, we saw what happened last time on the back end of lockdown when they opened us all back up, we were buried in it. Short hair, We'll put some people off a little bit longer. Give them most for their money. Cut hair short, shorter than you normally would. Product. Use, suggest, recommend, and sell professional take-home hair care product. And product covers a couple areas here. Number one, sell product now to take the dollars now. By the way, on the savings idea, how about if you set aside a percentage or a portion of all product sales as a way of funding your savings plan. Gives you more incentive to sell product and makes product sales much more effective for your long-term protection, for your long-term nest egg, for your long-term financial health and safety. But sell product now and also make people aware of the fact that product sales can continue even if we get locked down from services. Offer to ship product, offer uh, curbside pickup on product, offer front porch drop off on product. There are lots of ways, offer to drop ship if you work with a manufacturer who will drop ship like I do. Uh, make people aware of the fact that they can still get the products that they need and that getting the products that they need is a great way to continue to support you through what is a challenging time. Last on the list is capturing client information. Once again, we should have been doing this all along. Any day and every day is a great day. Hey, let me get your phone number. Hey, let me get your mailing address. Hey, what's your email? Whether you're old school like I used to be and putting it on a paper card or you're using an app or contact list digitally on a device, doesn't matter. You need to have this information. I think a great thing to also ask is, how do you prefer to be communicated with? Where do you like to get your information? Some people love text. Some people don't text. Some people look at their email once a month or once every couple of weeks. Other people are on top of email immediately. So not only capturing client contact information so that you can communicate, so that you can sell take home hair care product, so you can pe keep people up to date on things, but also capturing that client information and asking what's the best channel with which to communicate with you so that people can hear your message. It's one thing to put out a video like this. It's another thing if no one's listening or if everyone is listening. So these are my tips for Lockdown 2.0. Make the money while you can. Treat every day like it's your last day. Cut costs and increase your savings. Capture client information and communicate. Take clients short and sell product. These are the things we can do now. These are the things we should do now. These are the things we should be doing whether we get locked down or not. I hope you stay safe. I hope you stay healthy. Whether your circumstance or situation results in a lockdown or not, I can't predict that. It's not my call, but it is my responsibility to help you have the information you need to deal with circumstances and situations as they happen to help you stay safe, stay healthy, and build and grow your business. Join me online on Patreon, follow the podcast, watch the videos, get in touch with me on social media. The blog is up on the website. There's lots of ways I'm putting out information. I'd love to be able to help you. I look forward to hearing from you. Be safe and have a great day. Thanks.